This is the gut lumen. Inside the gut lumen, there is sodium, these orange circles, glucose, these green diamonds, and water, these blue squares. The gut lumen is connected to the epithelial cell. There's a high concentration of sodium in the gut lumen. The sodium wants to move from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. The epithelial cell has a lower concentration, so the sodium will travel down the concentration gradient through the SGLT1 carrier protein. SGLT1 is a co-transporter, so glucose will be coming along with the sodium. This is called facilitated transport. The gut lumen is hypertonic, so water will follow the glucose into the epithelial cell through osmosis. The water follows because there is now a higher concentration of solutes in the epithelial cell. Water wants to diffuse from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. This would make the cell hypertonic in relation to the gut lumen. For the epithelial cell to take in more glucose, it would need to get rid of sodium. In this case, the sodium-potassium pump is needed. It takes three sodium molecules. When sodium is bonded to the pump, phosphorylation is triggered by ATP causing the pump to change shape, decreasing the affinity for sodium. The pump uses ATP because it uses active transport. The new shape has a high affinity for potassium, the yellow triangles. After the potassium molecules bond, the phosphate group is released causing the pump to change back to its original shape. This causes the affinity for potassium to stop and there is a new affinity for sodium again. With a low concentration of sodium in the epithelial cell, the cycle can continue again with glucose and sodium. And then it just keeps going on and on.